Hi, I'm Jordan Klebanoff. I'm an OBGYN resident at Christiana Hospital, and welcome to this week's episode yeah. of Pocket Pearls. Welcome to this week's episode of Pocket Pearls, Pondering Prophylaxis. I'm here with my two colleagues, Dr. Shivani Shah, Dr. Vicki Greenberg, and today we're going to talk about pre-cesarean antibiotics. So the largest risk factor for infection postpartum is having had a cesarean section, and we give all of our cesarean section moms pre-incision prophylactic antibiotics before C-section unless they've been on antibiotics for a different indication. So my first question for Dr. Shah is what do we generally use for women who are having C-section? Yeah. We generally use two grams of cefazolin, and ideally it would be given 60 minutes prior to the incision. Excellent. And Dr. Greenberg, what if the patient is allergic to penicillin? <laughs> What's no the cell. patient's allergy? Is it a real one? Let's say that it's a true allergy to penicillin. Then you can give clindamycin and gentamicin. Your dose is 900 for the clinda and 350 for the gentamicin. Dr. Shah, what about for obese patients? Is it any different? So for patients who weigh more than 120 kilograms, we would dose them uh, three grams of cefazolin. Dr. Greenberg, what if the patient's already being treated for choriamnionitis with ampicillin and gentamicin? Then you can simply add the 900 milligrams of clindamycin. <laughs> Dr. Shah, are there any special considerations where things would be different? There would be two um, situations in which you would have to redose um, your antibiotics. One would be if you have blood loss greater than a liter and a half, and the second situation would be if your surgery lasts more than three hours, which at that time you'd have to redose. Takeaway points from today's talk are that in general all of our patients get two grams of IV ANSEP within 60 minutes of skin incision. If they're greater than 120 kilograms, they get three grams of ANSEP. And if the patient has a true penicillin allergy, then we use gentamicin and clindamycin instead.